Hi, I'm Nathan Gillian from Journey Team. I'm a business intelligence developer. And today I wanted to share with you something about JSON inside of Power Automate. You may have used Power Automate before, and you may know or you may not know that JSON is used in the background. Let me just show you what I mean. Whenever you, let me share my screen. Whenever you have a Power Automate flow, and you let's say I add an action here and I add a compose step. If I go to that compose step and I want to add some dynamic content, I hit this little lightning bolt in the new UI and I say want to just do what the response summary is. If you hover over that, you'll notice that there's some code here. Body, start and wait for approval, then a little question mark and response summary. And what that's doing is that's navigating the JSON output from the previous step. And sometimes when you have JSON returned by an API, you'll need to, uh, let me just hit enter and add another step here. You may be tempted to use this parse JSON step, which is great. The parse JSON step makes life really easy because you can put a JSON in, it'll create the schema for you, you can have a sample and it's awesome. It makes it really easy for you to dynamically reference outputs from previous steps. However, sometimes that can make your life more difficult, maybe because you're limited to your licensing and this parse JSON step takes up an API call, so you could be getting throttled if you have high volume. So often what I'll do is I will use the pattern that I found here to navigate the JSON and find what I'm looking for, write my own code by using this function here. I can write my own code to reference the JSON from maybe more complex JSON outputs. And then that has allowed me to develop much more optimized and <clears throat> efficient Power Automate flows. So I hope that helps. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out at journeyteam.com. Thanks so much. Take care.